Snake bite envenomation is a huge medical problem around the world. Every year, it causes the death of over 100,000 people that we know of. My name is Melissa, and today I will be telling you how we are going to use biotechnology to generate better treatments for these envenomations. In 2017, the World Health Organization designated snake bite as a neglected tropical disease. This is one that affects particularly the poor tropical countries of the world. These are not vicious creatures looking to attack people. They will often go to great lengths to avoid contact with humans and to warn us to stay away. But habitat loss and the increase in human populations is increasing the probability of encounters between snakes and people every day. Venom did not evolve for human envenomation but rather as a tool for snakes to submit their prey, defend against other predators, and also digest their food. At the Institute of Biotechnology in Cuernavaca, Mexico, we periodically perform venom extractions from the over 20 species of snakes kept in the collection for this purpose. Material obtained can be used to analyze venom composition and variation study the current antivenoms and see how well they work against them, and eventually research in new therapies. Snake venoms are extremely complex mixtures of molecules, mostly proteins, that can be separated using different lab techniques like liquid chromatography or electrophoresis. The toxicity of venom components, or for instance the complete venom, can be studied using different assays, including isolated tissue preparations, colorimetric assays, or even, if necessary, in vivo models. At the Center for Antibody Technologies of the Technical University of Denmark, we are developing a new generation of antivenoms. First, we isolate the toxins that are relevant for human envenomation, and we use a technique called phage display to discover antibodies that are specific against those toxins. Once we know them, we can produce, modify and combine the specific antibodies into an antivenom that does not require animals for production. These antivenoms would have higher therapeutic content than current antivenoms and can be designed to be more thermostable and safe so they can reach the places where they are needed the most.